Okay, well, here we are in Hindenburg, and Hindenburg is a very awesome program so far. I've just started to use it a little bit, but I am just in love with this program for recording audiobooks. Um, it's such an intuitive, well put together program. Um, there's just so many really awesome things to love about it. So, when you get a chance, go and check out their website, um, you know. And uh, let me know what you think. But um, let me go ahead and show you a few things here. So scroll back out. Okay. So I'm just scrolling back and forth here with uh, the mouse uh, wheel. And it's a lot easier to edit, a lot easier to go and navigate the whole um, experience here, the whole audio waveform the whole recording here. So let me go and show you here. So far, what I've done is I've recorded a few things here in this audiobook. You know, the uh, the beginning title and everything, the special request dedication here. This is raw recording. It's just that. Uh, I haven't edited anything. I haven't done anything to it. So I'm just kind of trying to get a feel for the program and, you know, see how... I'm going to like it, see if it actually is going to be something I'm going to potentially use here in the future. And so far, so good. I mean, like I said, I've been really enjoying the process here. And let me just show you here. Right here, this is a special request. As soon as you click on the little arrow button up here, it takes you right to where your, your title is. And it's all intuitive. This is a document. Uh, uh, Word Docs uh, document that I went ahead and just imported directly into the audio program because it has that capability. And the way that it works basically is it syncs up your book, your manuscript with the audio word for word. It's really pretty awesome. Like check this. So that's in the special request. That's exactly where this particular um, recording is. That's where the words are that are being highlighted right now. And that is pretty awesome, especially if you ever need to go back and to edit something that maybe the rights holder um, didn't agree with. He wants you to read it. He or she wants you to read it a little bit differently. Or maybe they just want, uh, maybe you missed some things um, in the actual read and you need to go back. And this particular program makes it so easy to go directly where you started and just punch in and keep it rolling. So, like I said, it, it creates these different uh, markers here automatically. And that happens as you record your audiobook. Like I said, because the manuscript and the audio file are synced up and they're linked. So, like I said, it makes recording and editing so far very, very easy. Let's go to another one. Where, where would another one be? All you got to do is look for little arrows, right? Dedication, right? Boom. So, that's pretty cool. And now I'm about to get into the forward. Right, so let, let's do a little recording here. All right, it's pretty uh, intuitive. All you do is you hit the little red button. First, you arm it up here, okay? You arm it right here, and then you come down here when you're ready to go, and you hit the little um, red blinking button. Now, as you do this, as you record, it will, you're gonna click on the side over here, and you'll go to the next one, okay? So that's super cool. As you do this, as you record, it will, you're gonna, so click. let's pause that for a second and let's actually delete all of that. Uh, should be right about there. Boom, delete that. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna come back over here. Forward. If you claim that you're not aware of the deep and jagged rift in society 
called Racial Tension. You're either lying or living in La La Land. No disrespect intended. I say this because it's impossible to hear and see the world realistically without knowing that racial tension is a real thing. The mistrust and hostility between people groups is tangible. And sadly, I mean that in the most tangible sense of the word. Okay? And then you could also hit the uh, right arrow button. And you can also go down and select it just with the arrow bar if you need to go back. Right? First, it, it normalizes the loudness. And then you can go back. Maybe. <laughs> You're supposed to be able to go back. Okay. Yeah, not sure. But... Let's just keep it moving, right? Let's go back. Somewhere in there, okay. And let's hit the little red button once more. If this weren't true, I'm gonna go and hit the uh, right arrow key, right? See, we just keep going. Balin Roof wouldn't have massacred nine African-American people while they were holding a Bible study slash prayer meeting in their church because of their skin color. And you can just continue on just like this and keep going. Boom. Riots and violence wouldn't have been the norm in Ferguson, Missouri because the African-American community didn't like the outcome of a court case. 9-11 wouldn't have happened. Martin Luther King Jr. wouldn't have had a reason to give his famous I have a dream speech, right? And we just continue and we continue and we continue hitting back and back and back. And again, once you stop recording, it automatically normalizes the loudness here. So when you're going and seeing the different levels here, it may look, it may look odd, but it's actually um, pretty cool because when you go and play this back, right, it's all going to actually sound the same. So if you pick up a, if you start a recording one day, right, let's just say over here, right, and then you picked it up the next day, you started here, right, and this was at a certain level, and then you, you began a, a new session, and here you go, and it's automatically normalizing everything. Even if you get closer to the mic, a little bit further away from the mic, it all balances, balances everything out. So that's a really cool feature, you know, and it has a lot of other cool features too. Like, let's just look at the export. You could export the audiobook. You could export for ACX, right? A lot of different options here. So really give Hindenburg an opportunity. One thing I'll say about uh, Hindenburg, it is expensive, but that's true of any um, good, solid DAW. Um, but the great thing is, it is not a subscription-based model. You don't have to worry, like with Adobe Audition, of paying a certain amount every month. It's one and done, okay? And that's a really cool feature in today's subscription world. I, I absolutely hate subscriptions, so, you know, anything I can do to avoid subscriptions, I, I do. I would rather pay upfront money, even a little bit more money upfront, and not have to deal with uh, subscriptions than to deal with any kind of subscriptions. So the price of Hindenburg um, Audiobook Creator uh, Doll is $500, according to their website. And let's see if we can go over there real quick. All right. ABC narrator. All right. Boom. Is this the one? They have two different ones. So you need to make sure that you're looking at the right one. Let's see. Is this it? I think it might be the other one. No, this is it. Okay. So this is pretty cool. I mean, 500 bucks, you know. You can buy it, own it for forever, right? Auto noise level, non-destructive editing, 
different effects, noise reduction, right? That'll help a lot of you guys out that don't have uh, really great um, sound booths or audio levels in the back there. Uh, clipboard loudness meter, you know, and it goes on and on and on and on. So again, you know, it's Hindenburg.com and, you know, just look for the audiobook um, version here. And this is the narrator, right? It's Hindenburg ABC, right? So check them out. Give them a shot. Yeah, I think you'll really, really like it. Like I said, it's going to save you so much time. Uh, Hindenburg will save you so much time as you're creating your audiobooks. I mean, just so much time. I mean, it's just incredible. And if you really wanted to, you could also switch your views, right? And you could have a narration view, right? And then you have more of the script actually right in front of you. So the way this works is very similar, right? You can do the same exact thing, you know, like if you go over to forward, right? And if you hit this little red button, it's already armed because it's red right there. And if you click this little red button, you'll record right, like if you already have something recorded, you'll record right over top of it. And that's the benefit of something like this. I mean, you could punch and row exactly where you need to. And that's really, really cool. So let's go ahead and try it now. See how it turned red up at the top? So let's go ahead. Forward. If you claim that you're not aware of the deep and jagged rift in society called racial tension, you're either lying or in la-la land. No disrespect intended. I say this because it's impossible to hear and see the world realistically without knowing that racial tension is a real thing. The mistrust and hostility between people groups is tangible. And sadly, I mean that in the most literal sense of the word. See, and you can just punch in right there and you're good to go. So let's just stop this, right? Analyzing forward, right? It's automatically doing all of this. Okay, let's go back to our uh, previous view. I like the narration view personally. Excuse me, not that one. Uh, what was it? The manuscript view. Where's that? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, anyway, I like this particular view uh, the best, you know, but if you want it more, because it's a, the font is a little bit bigger for me, and I'm not sure if you can increase the font size of the narration view or not. You might be able to. Maybe you can zoom in. Tools. Let's see. Zoom. Boom. Cool. See, there we go. <laughs> For people like myself with uh, not the greatest of eyes here, you know, my sight isn't the greatest. So all you got to do is zoom in a little bit and you're good to go. So just found something out new and boom, you're good to go. And that helps me out tremendously right there. So maybe I'll go with this. But honestly, when I'm recording, I like to actually see the uh, wave file at the same time. So I'm not sure. We'll see. But until then, uh, this is just a quick uh, overview of the Hindenburg um, ABC narrator doll here. Um, and this is pretty pretty awesome. I hope that you guys will go and be able to check it out. They do have a 30-day uh, trial. Um, and they might have extended it to 90 days because of all of the stuff happening with the virus out there. Uh, but double-check their website to confirm that but they at least give you a 30 day uh, trial period. That's what I'm using currently. And I gotta say, I'm, I'm looking to probably buy this. Um, it is a, a good amount of money, but for what I'm doing, it really, it makes sense to get it. So each of you gotta make your own decision with that and see if it's right for you, but it's gonna save you so much time when it comes to actually producing the audiobook. And also, if you do need to go back and do any retakes, um, it's just going to save you so much time in the post-production.
Let me know what you think in the uh, the comments below. If you've used it, if you have, what have your experiences been? Like I said, I'm just now uh, becoming aware of it and checking it out. So if anybody else has got information on it, go ahead and drop it in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.